Hello all and welcome to Keeping It Comic and we are just now sinking our teeth into the Marvel Blood Hunt crossover and we're going to be picking up here on Wolverine's first issue where the vampires are on the loose vampires are loose no seriously they're everywhere right so wolverine is chilling in this empty bar right now in barso california we're not a friend to show up that he's going to be teaming up with here to deal with this vampire infestation now he hears the words there you are wolverine but it's not the friend that he was waiting on. You understand me, right? There's four soldiers that are here that are pointing guns directly at him. Now, these soldiers have all been turned into vamps. These are also like National Guard, military police. So you can see what type of spread has happened here with these vampires. Now, Wolverine does his signature snicked, right? And the first dude, he just slices off his head. Doesn't waste any single time here. Just goes ahead and slices off his head. Now, Wolverine starts to kind of feel bad for him a little bit here because he's just like, you know, these kids didn't really sign up for this. Like they enlisted to make their parents proud, to earn some moolah, some money for college. But then they ended up like this. But ultimately, man, Wolverine, this is a this is a battle, baby. Like that was a mistake by him because they just start to unload on him. And they do mention um, here that the boss said that Wolvie got healing powers. And we're going to find out who that boss is later on. Wolvie got healing powers, so they shouldn't waste any time trying to turn him. Now, Wolverine, he gets shot in the gut and then just kind of just goes berserk after that right wolverine he silks his claws right under one of their chins he stabs another with like a sharpened pool stick he slices another one's head off like we just get right into the action in this first um comic here but then wolvie um he gets tackled and gets out and throws outside actually he slices another one's head off and then he gets tackled outside then there's a soldier that just starts yelling, yo, fry him, right? So we see Wolverine getting hit in the back by like this blue, like this beam that's just hit him in the back here. And Wolverine mentions that it feels like fire burning him alive. And we also get to see like this little twirling in the sky too, which we're going to be explaining a little bit later on as we go through the comic. We're going to actually jump a little bit into like blood hunt really quickly like just explain some quick things from there and then we'll jump back into this a little bit later on but like i said so we'll be he's getting fried by an active denial system electromagnetic beam i didn't have to say that i just wanted to say it because i feel like it was going to be a tongue twister so i decided to say it anyways Either way, what it's doing is that it's heating up the adamantium inside of his body, which is causing him to feel even more pain because the adamantium is getting heated up. And then on top of that, he's getting like the thing is piercing his skin anyways. And so it feels pretty much basically like a hundred times worse. By the way, we got to look at these teeth, man. Like you see like the spit in their mouth and, and then like the fangs. It looks kind of gross, the red eyes. You know, I'm, I've, I've seen vampires before in comics, but I'm just saying it, it, it just looks a little bit different for me. And like out of nowhere right like this blast this like blue blast comes out of nowhere which is like followed them by like two sharp arrows that go right to the chest and then right to the eyes of like two of the different soldiers that are there then and so i'm not gonna lie to you this hot chick she just comes out of nowhere with like a crossbow and the gun and there's like a beam that's like the smoke of the beam that's falling off and she says something like i'm just in time on me Listen, she looks she looks pretty damn good in that suit, if you ask me. Now, her name is Louise, and she goes by the name or Louise, Louise, uh, Louise, Louise. I think that's how it is. Right? That's how I'll probably should pronounce it here. And she goes by the alias here of Night Guard. Now, new Louise had saved Logan before when Dracula had stolen some of Wolverine's blood, and then when they met up another time. In the comics here, Louise's entire crew had been slaughtered by vampires that they were hunting. Because you can obviously see, like, yo, Louise, she is a vampire hunter. Like, that is what she do. That's her day job. You know, that's her nine to five, right? And some of those, some of her, her crew, like that, that crew that she was that she was rolling with, some of them turned into vampires because they those vampires that they were hunting, you know, ended up getting them turned. And so Louise actually, or Louis, Louise. I'm going to screw that name up continuously. Forgive me here. She is now a vampire herself, right? Now, to prevent Louise from becoming one of, like, the evil vampires, Wolverine had taken her to a place called, like, Savalith, I think is, what it, is how it's pronounced. Now, which is a place where 
it's like a it's a realm in the other world that houses vampires who learn how to control their bloodless now logan explains to her basically what's been going on so we flash back to like this scene here where logan was in a casino and like he was just there chilling playing his slosh drinking his beer and then all of a sudden like all the security people that were there just turned into vampires and just started to like go after all the people that were there right just like biting them on the neck and sucking their blood eating dinner whatever you want to call it um and one of one of them actually knew who logan was he was like looks like you're looks like your looks run out logan right so it's like that's kind of weird like why does why do you know my name so another little hint as to what's going on here specifically with wolverine as you can kind of see here wolverine is being targeted he's being hunted here now of course wolverine kind of just made quick work of him right went ran through him cut off their head he actually said something like hey the best way to put them down was by making sure that wolverine himself didn't lose his head and made sure that the vampires that they lost theirs then he finally goes outside and he saw like this little twirling plat patch, right? Remember I talked about a little twirling patch in the sky a little bit earlier, which was shocking to him because it was literally like midday at lunchtime. So he's like, yo, why is it so dark outside right now? So where this is all stemming from, if we go back to like blood hunt issue number one, this is something from like dark force energy here. So there's a group that is called the structure. That's what they call themselves. This is a vampire cult. And what they were doing is that they were detonating dark force users and turning them into portals to then block out the sun, which basically allowed for this vampire uprising and pretty much basically darken the entire world, not just like one particular area, the entire world. And they were like mobilizing lesions across different across the globe. They were hitting population centers. They were hitting critical infrastructures. And they also took out the Avengers. Like this kill squad of like ultra vampires, they feed on superhuman blood and they also like get empowered by feeding on things like pain or goals or magic. And the structure originally, like they had lost their leader, right? And the leader that they, that, that because of Moon Knight, they had lost their original leader because of Moon Knight. So then in like an interesting turn of events, we find out in Blood Hunt issue number one, like the main comic for, for this crossover here, that Blade actually is the new leader. And we seek him basically just like completely kill um, Doctor Strange, which was a shocking event here. I'm sorry if that was a spoiler. I'm assuming that if you've read Blood, that if you're reading Blood Hunt right now, Wolverine, you probably already read the previous ones. And I apologize if that is not the case, but I, I'm not going to spoil Blood Hunt 2. Go read that separate issue there. So let's jump back here into Wolverine and let's talk about Wolverine's Blood Hunt. So they're trying to find out why both the soldiers and the casino guards are seeking after Wolverine specifically. So another friend of Logan named Jeff Bannister, who is a CIA agent, tells Wolverine and Night Guard where the National Guard unit is from and what location to go kind of intercept them at. So while they are on their way there, they are stopped and confronted by another set of soldiers that are after Wolverine again. So both Louise and Logan, they do their best to fight off the soldiers and they pretty much basically take quite a few of them down. Like they do a pretty damn good job. You see Louise, she has a little helmet on here. One of them sees that she's a vampire. They're like, oh, you're a, you're, you know, they didn't get to say about, you know, she's like, yes, I'm a vampire, right? And what they realize is that, yo, know, these dudes are not just regular soldiers that are after him in the middle of the roadway here. These are mercenaries, like professional killers is who these guys are. So they're like, yo, what is going on? So Wolverine gets a call here and he thinks that it's a call that he's getting from Bannister again. But instead, this time it's actually from Maverick aka david north aka christopher nord aka agent zero um, who is an elite mercenary like this guy is the real deal now he used to be a mutant here but he lost his powers because of the decimation like scarlet witch when she decided to eradicate the mutant gene from like 90 percent of the remaining mutants that were there after the Genosha genocide right so he doesn't have his mutant powers anymore but he's still a damn good elite mercenary right and he basically tells Wolverine, like, listen, eventually this all ends in a in vampires kind of fighting for the crown here. And I'm trying to secure my place now by recruiting you, Wolverine, to come over onto my side. 
And if you don't want to come over onto my side, I'm just going to continue to keep on sending people after you time and time again. And I am going to continue to up the ante on it. So what are you going to do? And Mavericks is just like, listen, if you can't beat them, join them. And I'm asking you to join me. And that is where this one ends. So we're going to find out what happens here in the issue number two of Wolverine Blood Hunt. But so far, I'm intrigued by what's going on here. That's just very interesting. There's so many different um, sort of like books that they're following on you know, as it pertains to like Blood Hunt. You know, there's like they have like a Black, a Black Panther one. I believe there's like a Dracula one and they also have the Blood Hunt Diaries and there's also Midnight Suns. So I'm curious to see what's going to go on here. We're going to continue to follow on with the Wolverine version of this. If you want to, me to cover anything else, like if you want me to cover the like the Black Panther one, all that, let's leave it in the comments and let me know. But I'm curious to see what happens here on the next Wolverine one. I appreciate you guys listen. Once again, thank you for watching. Keep it a comic or thank you for kicking it with keeping it a comic. I'll be your host, Goofy Rexing, and bye.